What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another fabulous episode of The Audition with your boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. I am your boy, me, ting, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. Um, make sure that you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Finger me, finger me, finger me. That's my thumbs up. And share these videos. It's a great thing, and I greatly appreciate uh, you all taking the time out of your busy day um, to just check out what I'm saying, foolishness, menagerie, and some delightful information. Um, to take time out your day just to pay attention to little old me or whatever, right? Uh, but please share it with your friends, you know, paste it on their wall, you know. I will greatly appreciate it to get my numbers up and my subscribers up and all that. Make sure at the bottom you'll find the links how to follow me on Twitter, how to befriend me on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm pretty much Sebastian Bonet everywhere. Sebastian Bonet um, at, uh, at Twitter, Sebastian Bonet Instagram, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet on Facebook. Um, so, yeah, that's really much about it. Um, so, the purpose of this video is something that I'm going to do it as quickly as I can, but it's something that really aggravates me within this freaking LGBT community. I don't know if this is the case with the lesbians, but baby, with the gays, I don't know if you all just don't have a common level of respect. I don't know if your mothers were piss poor performancing. I don't know if they didn't teach you a level of decorum. I, 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 it just baffles me. Now, we all go on these websites. We all go on, you know, we're a member of BCG or A4A or Grinder or Jack or Scruff or, um, I, I'm, a, I'm like on all of them. You know what I'm saying? Scruff and Scraps and all this stuff for the Bears and the Cubs and the regular folks. To where, you know, it's an online chatting community. You know, people use it as sex sites or whatever the case may be. Some people, not all people. Um, so, you have your pictures on there. You know, you may have a little nudity or you may have some fully clothed. Depending on your personality, what you're trying to portray and what you're trying to attract. For me, and I'm going to be completely honest. On mine, I have, I'm standing there. I've lost some weight, so I took a picture of me in my underwear or whatever. But you can, I mean, you really can't tell me when people have lost weight. You can tell it in their face a little bit. Uh, but, you know, a body shot is the best way. Now, mind you, I have no dingling, no dick out, no ass out. I, am, I have on underwear. I'm covered. But um, people just don't know how to say hello. And let me know if this happens to you. No one knows how to say hello anymore. You know, I click on people's pictures. I may say, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Sup? Or, you know, to open the conversation. When your first line is, damn, your dick look big. Damn, can I eat your ass? Man, shit, let's fuck. I immediately block you. Even if I'm horny as hell and I want you to come fuck me stupid or I want to go break your back. Bitch, I'm immediately blocking you. Because I'm just like, first off, you don't know me from Adam. You know, I, I, and that might be what you want as anonymous sex or whatever the case may be. You don't know me from anybody. And the first thing out of your mouth is, hey, let me suck your dick. Where did you do that at? Or in the words of, of Sweet Brown, anybody got time for that? I mean... I think that's really, really rude. And I don't know if it's just me. I don't know what... First off, I don't know what other people that you have talked to and that worked on. Apparently, their morals and their decorum and their, their, their self-worth was not there. I'm horny a lot. But if you come to me like that, you know, when you don't even say hello, you don't say, hey, how you doing? My name is... Uh, just anything to break the conversation. You know, even if you say it, nice picture. Whatever. But when you come out leading out, let's fuck. Let me eat your ass. Let me suck your dick. Damn your dick look big. Damn your ass is big. That too, that shuts me down. That shuts me immediately down. So I'm saying to my brothers out there, like I said, lesbians, let me know if this happened to you all too. I don't know if y'all have like a, uh, um, we have Adam for Adam. I don't know if y'all have Eve for Eve, you know, something like that, you know, a chat site or whatever. I don't know what y'all lesbians have. Um, but, um, 
brothers let me know. Brothers and my other brothers, you know, the pilgrims, you know, brothers, pilgrims, saltines, you know, cornbread. Um, <laughs> let me know if this happens to you. Am I the only one? I mean, do I look like a whore? I, I mean, I, I mean, do I do I scream harlot? Do I scream hussy? Do I scream Jezebel? I mean, let me know. Because I know people say, you know, what you put out there is what you get back. You know, if you go out there with a short skirt on, you st asking the man to touch you because you shouldn't have on a long skirt. I mean, a short skirt. You should have on a long Pentecostal skirt. You know what I'm saying? To be dignified. I mean, I don't get into all of that. You know, no one had, no matter how, you could be butt booty ass naked, dick slanging from left to right, titties up, perked high, high and lifted up next to God. Nobody has the right to touch you or approach you in any kind. No matter... You don't, you don't know. I might be a nudist. And is on special occasion, depending on where I'm going. To the bad house. Um, <laughs> you didn't catch that last part. And if you did, keep your mouth shut. Um, but I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't get it. That this, this, I mean, this is the, honestly the only purpose of this video. It's just I, I don't know what it is about these, these, these men. I know men have a high sex drive and we tend to, you know, be the ones, you know, normally in a straight relationship to break up the happy home. The men are the normal ones to cheat. Women do cheat now, but it's normal that men, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Now, uh, that's no exception within the gay lifestyle or whatever, but still, open up by saying, hey, how are you? How was your day? Do you know how much shit you can get from a man, even if you act like you care? Even if you just, if you, because nobody really asks, well, how, you know, how was your day? How you feeling? Is there anything that I can do to help? Bitch, you, do you know how much ass, I mean, this goes for straight men, gay men. It, do you know how much ass and pussy you can get? Dick you can get? If you, eat, hopefully you will be genuine. But even if you just act like you care. Just act like you care. Run them bitches up in your mind. Hey, baby, how you, uh, how you doing? How was your day? Everything all right? Is there anything you need? Let me massage your feet. You can hate feet, bitch. Massage. Do you know how much you you can catch more? What is it? You can catch more flies with honey than vinegar. The honey is, baby. What's going on? You know I'm here for you. Let me be that listening ear. The vinegar is. Bitch, let me suck your dick. Bitch, let me eat your ass. Damn, that shit look tasty. Let me click on the inside of your thigh. That might be temporary. You get that temporary, but you want that residual pussy. You want that residual ass. The way you can keep calling, coming back, saying, Hey, you busy? How you doing? Can I do mind if I come over? I cook dinner, you know? You want the residual. You don't, you don't want the, and if you want the hit it and quit it, you know what I'm saying? That might be, that might be, you know, if that's what you want, by all means. But for me, I want the residual. I want that pussy that keep coming back. Because I know who I'm sleeping with. It's something regular. You know, it's still freaky fun, but there's that regular pussy. That's that comfortable pussy. You know what I'm saying? That's that comfortable ass, that comfortable dick. You know, you. I, that's what I want. Like businesses. You know, new clients is good. But you want that residual business. Them the ones that keep you coming in. That first client, they may come back. They may, may or may not come back because the, the fries may have been a little too salty. Or the shape may have been a little too thick. But that one that really likes it and keep. Why do you think McDonald's is so successful? It ain't the new bitches that's coming. It's them residual fat holes that keep coming. You know what I'm saying? To get them salty ass fries and them fat ass uh, Big Macs. You want, I want the residual dick. The residual pussy. I don't want no new dick. Well, sometimes I do. Because sometimes it's just residual. It's residual. Okay, never mind. Neither here nor there. But, at any rate, please, my brothers and my others, let's get our decorum up. Let's get our, our, our etiquette up. Let's get our, our, our common sense of decency up. That's common decency. I'm not talking about going beyond the call of duty. Common decency. My mama said, when you walk into a room, you should be the one to say hello. Because you came into a room that was already established. When you leave, if you're the one to leave, you say goodbye. So if I walk into a room and there's people talking, good evening, hello, how you doing, da-da-da. 
when I leave. If there's people still there, well, thank you so much. I'm about to depart. Y'all have a wonderful night. Common decency. Nothing over the top. You like to swing from chandeliers and Circus de Soleil and pop the pussy down to the floor, drop down, get your eagle on. Now, I'm not talking about all that. Just common, regular, bottom level composure. You know what I'm saying? I might do some etiquette classes on here. Mm -hmm. I'm, this call me Marlo Hamlet. I'm going to start talking about etiquette like that bitch did. But that's all I have to say. That's all I'm talking about. Because that really pissed me off. And this video is a nice 10 minutes long. I'm good to go. Uh, make sure you follow me. Tweet me. You know if you have me. At Sebastian Bonet. S-E-B-A-S-T-I-A-N-B-O-N-E-T. -E uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, at Seba oh, I just said that. At Sebastian Bonet. Instagram Sebastian Bonet. Uh, the, well, all the links down here, honey. Just click them damn links. Shit. Uh, other than that, I really love... Um, Listening to your comments, make sure you leave your comments on Facebook. I would prefer you to leave them on YouTube, please, my kind uh, folks, ma'ams and sirs. Uh, please leave your comments and definitely thumbs up. Please, thumbs up. It takes nothing but the click. Thumb up, finger me. Finger me, daddy. Finger, uh, finger me, finger, finger, finger me. Um, but that's really about it, y'all. But once again, thank you for tuning in to another. This remote is down in my crotch. I wonder if it smells like balls. Springtime fresh, summer's eve. Uh, make sure I love my smile. I'm just such a blessed young man. I could be so ugly right now, but God, God, you're awesome. You have touched me with the finger of love and Mac and all of LA Regenerous because this is what 32 looks like no wrinkles, sickening, clear skin, pretty smile. I paid for it. It's mine. All these teeth ain't mine, but hey. Bitch, I paid for them. They mine. Some of them come in, some of them come out. But they mine. Ting! Um, but, uh, God, I thank you for just being a God of a second chance. Second chance to put some stuff under these eyes, get these bags out. Second chance to let me whiten these teeth. Second chance to shave this bald in the head, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. A second chance to arch my eyebrows. But, God, I thank you. Anyways, y'all, I'm just praising the Lord for just how sickening I am and how sickening you want to be. All right. Once again, I'm your boy, finally. I'm your boy, the... <laughs> I'm your boy, the... Y'all see my white hoes in the background? That's my Sex in the City girls, Miss Samantha, Miss Charlotte, Miss Carrie, and Miss Miranda Sex in the city. Um, once again, I'm your boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. I'm about to get into bed, get ready for work. I will holler at you later. Peace, much love, and soul. Ciao.